Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at Taiwan Do from Timothy Presley. What is it? Uh, it's basically a children's magic trick, okay? Something you do at a kid's party. And it's kind of just like a funny prop gag where you turn a magic wand into a set of nunchucks. If you wanna see the trailer, this is it. What does a magician and a ninja have in common? Taiwan Do, the nunchuck magic wand. With Taiwan Do, you'll have every child in your audience rolling on the floor in stitches at your kung fu We're gonna take it up a notch. We're gonna take it up a notch. Woo! What's up, nunchucks? Here we go. Woo! 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 Oh! That's awful. That's awful. Here we go. Let me switch hands. I'll use the wrong hand. I'll use the wrong hand. We'll use this hand instead. Here we go. <laughs> With every Taiwan Do, I'm also giving away my personal routine called Banana Split. Like honey, chopping this up. I'm gonna chop it up without cutting it. Here we go. Did you see that? This is a three minute comedy magic routine where you will demonstrate your ninja skills by slicing a banana without ever touching it. This routine has everything you would ever want in a children's uh, magic routine. It has a simple plot line, audience participation, one liners and physical comedy, and an impossible feat of magic. It requires no skill allowing you to focus on the presentation. So what are you waiting for? All right, so that was Taiwan Do from Timothy Presley. Okay, a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what is in the box? What's in the box? Uh, first thing you're gonna get, uh, you're gonna get the nunchucks, right? <laughs> you gotta get that. Uh, you're gonna get the gimmick, which is basically uh, a magic wand that is also a pair of nunchucks. And it's pretty much made from a really thin pool noodle tube and a piece of black rope. Uh, you're also gonna get two pages of printed typed instruction, and that's it. Two pages of printed type instruction. Is it well made? Uh, the prop is pretty well made um, for what it is. I, I was surprised at how lightweight it was. Um, it doesn't feel that costly or that hard to make uh, holding it in your hands. Like I said, it kind of feels like the same material that you would get a pool noodle tube from you know, those flotation devices, um, white duct electrical tape around the ends and then a piece of black rope. Um, that's pretty much it. I, mean, I, I flipped with it a couple of times. I did a, a small routine for uh, one of my magic classes and I didn't have any problem using it, it didn't break, so it seemed to be well made. All right, so is it well taught? Okay, so here's my thing. You know, in the day and age where making a video instruction is extremely easy, I mean, I make a video every single day. So I know that making a video is not that difficult. And, and Timothy Presley actually made a commercial, you know, that we just saw. So clearly uh, there is that capability. Plus on top of that in the video, you do see uh, the routine shown a little bit uh, that he uh, teaches you with the banana. So there is a banana trick, um, as like a three minute trick included that is taught in the instructions. But none of that is given to you in video form. It's all given to you in the guise of you know, typed out instructions. And I just think, you know what? <laughs> it's just so easy to make a video nowadays. It's so easy just to upload it to a server and have people download it. It's a very simple procedure. And I think in this day and age, that's kind of what we all expect. And to get something that is just printed paper just feels a little phoned in. Um, and, that, and that's just me. But I mean, obviously the footage is there to show you what the routine looks like. So that would have been easy. And then maybe just a couple of segments with Timothy talking to you about handling and care. Um, the, and maybe some advice that he's given when picking volunteers to hold the banana or you know how to open the banana or anything, I think would have been helpful and to kind of just boost up the quality of the product and to increase the value for those who purchase it. 
Positives. All right, so what are the positives to Taiwan Do? Uh, Timothy Presley has come up with a very silly and very fun prop that is sure to be a hit at parties. Negatives. All right, so what are the negatives to this? You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Um, I've had experience being in front of kids. I've had experience being silly and self-deprecating in front of kids. So this is an okay thing for me. But just for me, for you know, 20 bucks, I'd expect the consumer to get just a little bit more bang for their buck. All right, so who would like this? I think people that do uh, children's parties, of course, uh, or somebody who's looking to do a children's party, this is an easy gag to get and to do. You don't have to be a magician to do this effect at all. You don't have to have any experience at magic to do this at all. It's purely a gag. And so I think that if you're even a school teacher, and you want to do something like this for a science class or maybe a science experiment involving a banana, uh, I think this would be a great routine. Is it worth your money? You know, like I said, 20 bucks, it, it probably covers the cost of the material and to get it out there, I just felt like, you know, to give the consumer a little bit more value for their money, a, a video download probably would have been helpful. All right, so that is my review for Taiwan Do from Timothy Presley. As always, I want to thank Murphy's Magic for supplying this trick for me so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it from your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks. Bye.